Ferrous metals are metals that contain iron. These are distinct from both precious and base metals. They include raw materials of iron ore and steel scrap and semi-finished products such as hot rolled coil steel. Iron ore is found in the Earth's crust and mined from open pits. China is the world's largest producer, consumer and importer of iron ore. Australia is the second largest producer of iron ore and has the world's largest deposit. Iron ore is transported via ocean freight on cape-sized vessels. Some of these very large ore carriers have a deadweight capacity of 400,000 metric tons. Iron ore supply increased over the last 10 years in response to China's industrialization during the commodity supercycle. The increases in demand and subsequent production growth has affected the way iron ore is priced. Historically, prices were negotiated on an annual basis. As demand grew, prices shifted to a quarterly cycle, and most recently we see spot pricing. Iron ore is the key ingredient in the steel making process and is produced using a blast furnace. In a blast furnace, iron ore, coke and limestone are heated to produce liquid iron. Once a blast furnace is started, it will continuously run for years with only short stops for planned maintenance. China is the world's largest steel producing country, representing over half of all crude steel produced. Different types of steel are produced according to the properties required for their application. Properties such as density, strength, thermal conductivity and elasticity. They are broadly categorized into carbon steels, alloy steels, stainless steels and tool steels. Steel is commonly used in construction of bridges, roads, railways and buildings. It is also used in the white goods sector, which are large electrical goods such as refrigerators and washing machines, which are typically white in color. Steel can also be produced from recycled steel scrap via an electronic arc furnace, EAF. About one third of the world's crude steel is made using electric arc furnaces. In an EAF, the scrap metal is charged using graphite electrodes to heat the metal. In the United States, steel is typically produced using EAFs rather than blast furnaces. There are two main benefits of using EAFs rather than blast furnaces. EAFs use 100% recycled scrap feedstock which uses less energy. And there's greater flexibility to start and stop production, thus being more responsive to changes in demand. There you have it, just a few of the factors that contribute to the supply of and demand for ferrous metals all around the globe.